YouTube. It's Lauren. Um, wasn't planning. I wasn't planning on filming a video today, but I wanted to do a follow up to the haul video I did last night. I actually, I just got home from work. Um, like I just walked in the door. So I, if I look tired, I am. So um, we had silly day today at school, and uh, I have. 10 to 11 three-year-olds at a time. So we had a really good time. Everything was mismatched. We had a lot of fun. My hair was up in these big, like, fluffy pigtails, like, like, up high. And, um, so my head is so sore right now. Like, I haven't worn my hair up since I got a pixie cut February of last year, so, or January of last year. So a year ago was the last time I wore my hair up. And, um, now I have a headache. <laughs> So, um, but we had a really good time. It was really cute. I did this like awful blue eyeshadow and I was wearing Revlon's Plum Velour lipstick. So I had this blue eyeshadow, purple lipstick, big fat pigtails. Um, I wore a Charlie Brown shirt with a zebra flannel pajama shirt over it. It was cute. Um, one of my little boys had like a little hair thing. Uh, it was, it was adorable. It was a great day. We read Silly Sally, lots of fun stuff like that. Um, Life of a preschool teacher, y'all. Hashtag. So, um, anyway, so that's why I look a little worn out. Um, but anyway, last night after I was done with my video, you know, I told you guys I was going to do some masks this weekend to review. But last night I was sitting there and I was going to wash my makeup off anyway. And I was like, hey, why don't we just get one of these a shot? So, last night I used the Freeman's Purifying uh, Paper Mask. And, um... Let me read it out to you before I get into the review. Uh, this serum infused paper mask with star fruit helps calm skin stressed by flare ups. Lavender and niacinamide, I don't know, help balance oil production. Tea tree soothes breakout stress skin, perfect for combination to oily skin. And I do have combination to oily skin. My skin is not that sensitive, but it is very breakout prone, if that makes sense. Um, so I pulled this out of the pack last night and yeah, you can still smell it. It smells, I mean, it's a pleasant enough smell. It actually smells kind of like tea mixed with bubble solution. I don't know. That to me, that's what it smells like. It smells like bubble solution and tea and maybe a little bubble gum. I don't know. <laughs> like, I know that sounds weird, but it, I mean, it's, it's not a heavy smell, but it's something. It's, it's kind of a funny smell. But um, I pulled it out. Let me see. Let me put this back together so you can see it. And it comes out like this. Can you guys see that? It's like this little mask with these little eye holes and a mouth hole and like this nose flap. Very attractive. Um, and you, it has a plastic front, like a thin plastic sheet front. And the paper mask itself is really thin, almost like tissue paper. And um, you have to unfold it, and then you pull those two apart. Mine was broken at the chin, like it didn't attach. So it was kind of hard for me to keep it on my face there. But you pull it apart, and then I, you put it over your face. You know, you match up your eye holes and everything. It's not hard. Um, I had a little bit of trouble unfolding it. It was kind of, I guess, because that break. But um, I missed some folds on the side. So after it was on my face, I had to, like, try to unfold it to smooth it out. I just thought, I was like, is my face that fat? Because it only went to like right here. And then I realized I didn't have it unfolded all the way. But my face is pretty chunky, so whatever. But um, so I put it on and it burned just a little bit. Like not like a hot burn, not like a chemical burn. It was almost like as if you walked outside when it's really, really cold. Um, it's just that kind of, that kind of burn. And so I left it on for 10 minutes like it told me to. Like I said, my skin is not sensitive, but I was worried about using it for the full 10 minutes the first time, but I went ahead and did it. You know, it was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm just going to I'm gonna do it. And so I used it for the full 10 minutes. Um, that burn never really went away. It was there. It wasn't anything uncomfortable. It didn't hurt. It was just there. I mean, you know, it was, it was not like, this doesn't feel like anything. I mean, you did feel it. And so, um... I took it off and my face was so red. Like you could literally see the lines where the mask wasn't because the rest of my face looked like it was sunburned. And my face was very tacky when I pulled it off. And um, 
It tells you not to wash the serum off, so I rubbed the serum into my skin really well. On my cheeks, my cheeks were totally dry. Like, they just sucked up every bit of the serum in that in that spot. But um, everywhere else, you know, I just massaged it into my skin, down my neck. And um, my skin felt very clean and very smooth. Like, I've had a breakout here, like a little bit of breakouts here, that I've been fighting with my Say Yes to Tomatoes. I've been fighting with my Zit Zapper. Um, it wasn't big, but it wasn't going away. And when I used that mask last night, it was almost completely flat. Like, oh, everything just felt so smooth. It felt so clean. It didn't burn after I took it off. Um, I was a little worried at how red and splotchy my skin was last night. Like, I'm not going to lie. I was a bit taken aback by it. But when I woke up this morning, it was not red and splotchy anymore. My skin was still smooth. Um, this is an oil control mask. And... When I woke up this morning, there was no oil on my face. And there's really not any now. Like, there's a little here. But I didn't use any mattifying serum. I didn't use any of my shine killer, nothing this morning. And um, I have no oil on my face. And so, personally, for me, this mask was great. Um, the mild discomfort of the burning, like, which was nothing. It really didn't bother me at all. Um, it was fine. And then, other than my face being a little red... Which, I think you get a little nervous the first time you use something. You know, you're like, what has this done? Um, and it was it was fine. And so, it went away. And um, so, really, that wasn't anything that would turn me off either. So, for me, this mask was two thumbs way up. Like, up, 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 up. It was great. Like, I'll probably go and buy everyone Walmart has next time I'm there. Um, you can find them at Walmart. They're under $2.00. I want to say when I bought mine, mine were like two thirty-seven dollars or something random like that. But it is, it's under $2. And um, so I loved it. I highly recommend it. Um, I've got some masks I'm going to try. I'm going to wait and try them out until the effects of this one goes away. Um, I want to be fair. I don't want to think I got a good mask and then it just still be this, you know, feeling so good on my skin. So, um... I've got the two Cubellas that I showed you in my haul video. I've got my Say Yes to Tomatoes. And then I've got another Freeman mask. And this is the Brightening mask with Rose. And so um, I'm going to wait on my Say Yes to Tomatoes until my face has gotten a little bit more broken out. Like if I'm really struggling, I'm going to use this one. And um, so I'm probably going to use one of the Cubellas to see how they do since I kind of know what to expect with the Freemans. I'll probably use the Clarifying this weekend. And so, um, I'll let you know how those work to you, uh, especially the Cubella, see if they're as good as the paper mask, um, was for me, but I highly recommend it. I'm so looking forward to this weekend, guys. I'm going to hopefully have a quiet weekend at home unless a certain little Sadie makes her way into this world. I'm not leaving this house. I'm going to try to finish this room up. Um, I'm finally going to get a chance to do my nails. They are so bad right now, but I'm finally going to get a chance to sit down and do those. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm so tired. <laughs> so, And I usually am on Friday night. By tomorrow, I'm going to be like, I'm so ready to get out of this house. Let's go anywhere. So, uh, but, you know, so I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope you guys have an amazing Friday night. If you're going out, be safe. I, for one, am about to go put on some ER pajamas, get some leftover spaghetti, watch a sad lifetime movie that's it's i mean that sounds awesome to me so but i hope you guys have a great day if this helped you um let me know what you thought about it even if it didn't help you let me know what you thought if you've used this and it worked for you tell me your thoughts if it didn't work for you let me know what happened if you liked any of the other masks that i have um or if you found another mask that's really awesome that you think i would like let me know comment below i would love to hear it um if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. I would love to see some subscribers. Um, I have my little boxes up there for some videos that I'm going to be doing soon. So I might do another one this weekend. Who knows? Depends on what mood I'm in. I'm going to do the accent tag soon. Um, Whitney, a friend of mine, she's also on YouTube. I'll link her when I do the video. She just did it. And we actually graduated high school together. And it's so funny, I was watching her video thinking, we talk so differently to be from the exact same area. So um, I'm going to do the accent tag so that you guys can kind of see both and see two different Alabama accents. 
whoop, whoop. Real tired, y'all. So, anyway, I hope, again, blah, blah, me blabbering. I do that when I'm tired. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.